In the fight against climate change, a group of 21 African countries is on the front lines. Over the past 50 years, their lands have become desert, so they've banded together to reclaim the area by planting a wall of trees from one side of the continent to the other. And get this, it's working. The region, called the Sahel, sits just below the Sahara Desert. Once full of grasslands and woodlands, it is now one of the most environmentally degraded places on Earth. The Sahara itself is slowly expanding into the area, but it's drought and poor land management that have really decimated the Sahel. Faced with a lack of work and growing conflict, millions have migrated. The idea for the project, called the Great Green Wall, was simple. Grow a barrier against the Sahara to save both landscapes and livelihoods, and give people a reason to stay. The African-led initiative launched in 2007, supported by 11 countries. Since then, 10 more countries have joined, including many from outside the region. What started as a tree planting venture has now become a movement, a patchwork of different sustainable land use projects in different countries. But the goal remains the same. Reclaim 100 million hectares of land by the year 2030 and create hundreds of thousands of jobs. Currently, the Great Green Wall is only about 15% complete, but the change is visible. Planted with drought-resistant trees, the new forests slow soil erosion, protect against the Saharan winds, and help filter rainwater back into the ground. Equally important is the return to indigenous farming practices. Village vegetable gardens have been planted in the regenerated areas. Patches of seedlings can become emergency food for cattle when the rains are late, trees can be cut for firewood, and tree fruit can be harvested and sold. And then of course, there are all of the jobs that have been created to plant, nurture, and maintain these new green spaces. If completed, the Great Green Wall will stretch 4,750 miles from Senegal to Djibouti, be three times the size of the Great Barrier Reef, and sequester 250 million tons of carbon. It would be a new world wonder, but just the fact that there is so much more green here today than before seems pretty wonderful right about now.